I wanted to show you a simple two lamp uh, fixture that you probably have in your garage and show you how easy it is to convert this to a LED. You're gonna be absolutely amazed. Let's talk about safety first. Before you get started, shut off the circuit breaker that goes to your lighting circuit. If you cannot lock the breaker cabinet, put some red tape across the circuit breaker. In a commercial setting, use a lockout device on the breaker so it cannot be turned on while you're working. Also, don't forget to bring yourself a work light. You are shutting off all the lights, so you need to be able to see what you're doing. I always carry a work light with me and plug it in, set it on the floor, and shine it up at the light fixture so I can see what I'm doing. Just a thought. First of all, we get a lot of questions about this. This is a T12 bulb, so it's, it's one of the larger bulbs, and you can see here, um, it's over an inch in diameter. Now, these come in a couple of two different sizes, a T12 and a T8, and you can see here that there's quite a bit of difference. But what's not different is the socket. A T12 socket for this bulb and a T8 socket is the same socket. The pin spacing on the bulbs are exactly the same. So I wanted you to see that right away because we get so many questions about that that I thought it was really important to mention. I'm gonna take your light fixture here and I'm gonna take the light bulbs out and we're gonna convert this to LED right here in front of you and you're gonna see how absolutely easy it is to do. So the first step is to take out the light bulbs, which I've done. And the next step is I'm gonna grab my screwdriver and I'm gonna take the cover off the light fixture. So we're gonna just go right down here. And this fixture, some have screws and some have these little clippy guys. And I'm taking the clip out, put it aside for now. I'm not gonna lose it because we're gonna need it here in a few minutes when we put this light fixture back together. So taking the cover off the light fixture and exposing the wiring. Now this light fixture has a ballast in here, it happens to be made by Keystone, one of our favorite companies. And it's wired into the ceiling, and well, you know, for this case, we're showing it here on our workbench so you can get an idea of what's going on. So sockets, wires to the socket, ballast, um, power coming from your ceiling, you're gonna find there's a white wire, a black wire, and a green wire. So the white wire is neutral, that's this one right here, coming from your ceiling. Black wire down here is your hot, and here's the ground. Always look for your ground. You always want to have your fixture grounded. And you can see here where the ground is actually tied into the light fixture. And you know, it's really a good safety thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewire this light fixture for LED double-ended lamps. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the wire nuts. Take these out right now. And we're not going to need them, so I'm taking them and putting them far away. And we're going to pull the wires away from the ballast here. So now we, re we removed power from the ballast and the next step I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna actually cut the wires. And you're gonna go, oh my God, that's a scary thing, but actually it's not. So I've cut the wires to the ballast. Um, we're not gonna be using the ballast anymore and we're not gonna be paying to run electricity to it. So that's now removed. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna completely remove the ballast. Now you don't have to remove the ballast, but I kind of like to because somewhere down the line someone may look in here and just get all confused. So I'm going to remove this ballast. It comes right out in my hand with one screw and now the ballast is gone. So now we're going to make our conversion. You're going to see how incredibly easy this is. You should be able to do it in just a couple of minutes just like I am right now. We have a little quick connects and these wires have been pre-stripped. They were in those wire nuts a minute ago and I'm going to put one over here on the neutral and I'm just gonna slide it in, and I'm gonna check it, make sure it's in there tight, and it is. And over on the hot, I'm gonna do the same thing. It doesn't matter which hole you shove it in, as long as it's in there, and see, now that one's on tight. So I'm dividing my light fixture now into a neutral side and a hot side, and I'm gonna run these wires into these connectors. So one quick sidebar I wanna show you is the ballast. Make sure you cut the wires when you cut them. Cut them, actually cut them a little closer than I did, um, it'll just make it easier and safer in case your lead wires aren't long enough. Now mine are here. Um, I pulled them out a little bit. There's a little slack in there. So make sure you kind of cut back on both ends when you pull your ballast out. So let's get right back to the light fixture. So I got my neutral, I got my hot, I got my connectors on, I um, got my wires all laid out. So this side I'm gonna call the hot. So I, I got my wire strippers that we talked about a little earlier and these are obviously my favorites. So I'm gonna strip off probably about three quarters of the wire. I'm gonna put it in the 18 gauge. That's what most of these light fixtures are. Um, so I'm gonna run through here just real quick. And we're gonna strip off all these, all these ends. 
And this being my, my designated hot side, I'm just gonna take these wires, push them into the connector, all of them, and you'll feel it lock in there. You know, give them a little tug too to check them. So all the wires go in. And we give you a big enough connector where you can get all of them in. There you go. So this side's complete. That's all that's to it. Now we're gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna strip these off real quick. Now a couple of those I think are just maybe a little long. So I'm gonna take my wire, wire cutters here and just I'm gonna trim them back. I don't want any copper sticking out of the connector. So on my neutral side of the fixture, all these wires go to this side and all these wires are gonna go inside this connector. That way when we put in the dual ended LED tube, it'll light right up. So wires go in, just like so. And now this side is done. So this light fixture has been converted. Make sure you put in your label that we supply with each and every kit to let people know in the future that it has been converted. However, it is somewhat obvious being the fact that there isn't any ballast in the middle of the light fixture anymore. Put your cover back on the light fixture, basically the same way you just took it off. Don't forget to put the little clip in the end. So we sell the tubes two different ways. We sell a clear and a frosted. And this is a T8 clear, obviously, and this is the frosted. The lights are directional, so you want the LEDs facing, you know, facing down. You don't want them facing up inside the light fixture. So when you put them in your tombstones here at the end, uh, make sure you rotate your tube so the LEDs are facing down. And on a frosted tube, you'll put it in so the labeling is on the back. And you'll know right away as soon as you turn them on and you can actually see the LED tube here. And if you notice, it's, it's in wrong. So I'm gonna turn it around. There you go. So these are ready to go. Your lighting fixture is complete. You can turn it on now and that's all that's to it. We offer single-ended LED lamps, plug and play, and this double-ended LED on our website. Please stop by and see our selection. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please send them direct to us with some photos to support at TotalLightingSupply.com. If you're watching on YouTube, please send an email direct to us as your response will be much faster. We are the Lighting Guys. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.